Hi everyone, this is Alma coming to you from Long Beach, California. Today is Thursday, March 11th of the year 2021, and this is Fasted number 53. So as always, I want to welcome you all. Welcome back to all my returning viewers and subscribers. As of last night, I was like 20 subscribers away from hitting 2,000, which is mind-blowing. I. I have no words. I never thought I would have a hundred people interested in what I had to say, let alone 2,000. So thank you, because <laughs> obviously I would not be here if it wasn't for you. So thank you, thank you for your continuing support. And if this is the first time that you are popping in, then welcome. This is a channel where I talk about my cross-stitch projects, or whips as we call them, with um, work in progress. I talk about plans to finish set projects, with a little bit of life here and there, but it's mostly about cross stitch. So I hope that you do like what you see, um, you like what, and you like what I have to show you, and you decide to stick around and subscribe, and continue to follow me on my stitching journey. Um, I hope that everybody's doing well. I hope that everybody's staying safe and sound. Or everything's good on our end. Thank goodness. Kind of hard to believe that we're coming up on the one year mark since. We've been in this situation, but here we are. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I'll, that's, that's all I'll say about that. How about that? I'll just leave it at that. Um, we're still dealing with school, or I'm, I'm still dealing with school. You know, I'm carrying a full load of classes. It's pretty much taking up a lot of time, but I still find time to stitch. Um, I try to balance myself so that I can go ahead and still, still stitch. Um, so without further ado, let's get to the stitching. Um, as always, the first piece that I want to show you is my, um, Eternal Promise project, or chart, I should say. This is a Heaven and Earth Designs chart based on Matt Stewart's artwork and inspired by the Lord of the Rings characters. This is going to be a present eventually. It's going to be for my twin sister. So I would like to have it finished sooner rather than later. Um, I gave myself the goal. Oh, that was my back. Here's my back. <laughs> um, I made myself the goal of stitching two, two, 200, stitch, 200 stitches daily. And this is what I have so far. I'm just under 12,000 stitches, which is insane, considering I started the year with 1,500. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I finished these flowers right here in the, the background for them. And this line right here that you see forming is actually the edge of that border the flower border that goes around. So now it's it's just a matter of continuing on this side and on top. But I'll just go ahead and do everything here as well. Originally I was gonna go ahead and just stick to the border for now, but I think I'll go ahead and just work work the area so that I'm not moving the Q-snap around as much. Um, However, I have made, even though this is my focus piece of the year for Magical Stitches, I have made the executive decision to, to, to put this, not aside, but I'm not going to be focusing on this anymore as much because I want to finish my Hogwarts piece, which you'll sh you'll sh 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 you will see <laughs> in just a moment, because uh, I do want to finish that before the end of July. So, and now again, that um, I have a full load of classes, I don't have as much stitching time as I want. Sometimes all I can do is those 200 daily stitches. So keeping that in mind, I've just decided that I'm going to, I'd rather dedicate those 200 stitches to Hogwarts Castle instead of this. So I'll still work on this. I'll try to work on this still um, so that I don't fall too much behind, but but yeah, it will see a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a delay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. Point being is it's not going to get as much progress anymore. Um, 
but again i do want to get that finish so i'm not too bummed out about it the next piece i want to show you is another heaven earth designs piece that i'm working on this is mini midnight stroll by julie fain it's another heaven earth designs chart and this is also going to be a, a gift for my goddaughter and I, I also want to finish this sooner rather than later because you know she's she's little so i want to finish it while she's still little and she still believes in magic and fairies and all that good stuff so <laughs> but here we are today today so last week i added 500 stitches and then this week i added 1924 stitches and the reason why that's such an exact amount is because i used this for one of the events for the history sprints event in full coverage fanatics where they give us several different events that occur in the month of march throughout history and you can either stitch the year that the event happened in so 19 again 1924 or you can stitch something related to the event itself but me being me i decided to go ahead and try to do both if i could so for this one um the event is back in 1924 i forgot the exact date like the day of march i didn't write those down i just wrote down the year because that's what mattered to me <laughs> um but back in 1924 was the first time that the happy birthday that the happy birthday song was published and we were supposed to stitch on something that was going to be a gift or just our favorite whip so here we are and most of the progress if you haven't noticed already most of the progress was done on her lower half of the body so i finished her legs most of her legs um there's still some of the 939 to do on the tip um, of the toes and of course all the pink and this actually wasn't it wasn't planned originally i wanted to go ahead and just um like finish up the the colors that i had here but then move to the other side however um when i did those 500 stitches i wanted i i only had like a couple of days to finish them in time for the task for magical stitches task so those 500 stitches were all done in that block um, and when I took I used the same picture to start those 1924 stitches 1924 stitches so the Q snap was only covering like, like a certain area so I decided that um, I just decided to go ahead and stitch on the area since it was already it was the only thing that was in the picture just in case i don't think anybody would but you know so that there's no there's no mistake no one says that i'm cheating or anything like that so so now i think what i'll do is i'll just finish these few colors up here to connect it to this area and then i'll just i'll just probably finish this half why not? I don't know. Again, I originally wanted to do the top, but I might just do the side. <laughs> Either way, it's progress. I think this is 27 or 28% completed now. So it, progress is progress at the end of the day. I don't mind it. The next piece I want to show you, I'm going to have to show you my tablet because I don't have the printed picture. It is one of the, my newer pieces. I started this back in November. It was new start November in anticipation of no new starts 2021. Um, so this is Cinderella. And if this is your first time coming in, then um, I'm a big fan of Disney, big fan of Harry Potter. So a lot of my projects will reflect that, that passion, you know, the, those. Um, so yeah, so even though Cinderella is not technically my favorite princess, I still adored this, this pattern. I just, I have to stitch that dress. That's, that, that dress is gorgeous. So 
Um, I started it back in November. I only put like 200 stitches, which was the bare minimum amount. And then when I picked it up, so again, this is this is my tiny start right here. I put in 500 stitches last week for the second Magical Stitches task. So most of it was done on the blue. I, I originally started with the 939 down here, but I don't have that much 939 left. And I'd rather use it on Hogwarts Castle first to make sure I have enough to finish that. And then I can deal with buying more. Because I, I try to not... I mean, I guess I can always just order or order it online. But, but yeah, I just decided to continue with the next color. It's fine. And I'll go ahead and do do that color first all along the, the, the bottom. And then I'll continue moving my way up. The dress is... I mean the dress starts pretty much immediately so I'll get I'll get to stitching her pretty soon <laughs> the next part the next part the next project I also need to show you here on my tablet this is going to be another gift apparently I'm stitching a lot of gifts which is strange because I don't don't normally gift that many things um, this is going to be for a friend of mine. I can oh, hi, I can see the phone right there. <laughs> um, this is going to be for a friend of mine. Um, she's having a baby in a couple of months, and she told me that the baby, the nursery theme was going to be Winnie the Pooh. So I decided to go ahead and stitch this for her. I'd like to have it finished before the baby arrives, but I still want to add the like the. The birth, it's going to be a birth record, so I do want to add like the name, the weight, and the date. So I obviously won't be able to fully finish it until after the baby's born. But this is what I have so far. Last time you saw this, I had just done the blue background and the green bush. So the last couple of weeks, which I need to again, I need to get cracking on this because baby's coming. <laughs> but I finished the gold leaves over here and this little bit of blue and green. And I did start on the on the tree trunk, on the log that they're sitting on. So he's not floating in midair anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is I mostly work on this during the weekend. So, but I should work on it more often, really, because I feel like even though I am going kind of quick, and a lot of it is white space, like this entire section over here is just the quote. I. I don't I don't have that much time left <laughs> so I do need to finish up um, next piece I need to show you it's over here um, in my beautiful Wonder Woman project bag that my friend Michelle from um, Sudden Foxy Stitcher Sudden Doxy Stitcher made for me so as you can see <laughs> so much <laughs> so much for a suspense um yeah so it's wonder woman so if you've seen my my channel then you know that i am working on wonder woman warrior princess by tilton crafts based on daniel cordick's artwork and i'm using this for two things first is um leanne from leanne stitches is doing a superhero saturday style so she's working on um i don't think it's a tilton crafts but She's working on a piece with a, a lot of um, Marvel superheroes. So she, and she wants to finish that. Again, it's going to be a gift. <laughs> Speaking of gifts. So she wants to, you know, move, uh, move along on that. So she, she created this style. So I'm joining in with her with this. And I'm also using this for another one of the events in the, in the history sprints from Full Coverage Fanatics. Um, the event this time is in 1932, Amelia Earhart, um, I think it's Earhart, I, I don't know, it might be Earhart, but Earhart sounds better. Point being, this is the first time that she flew across the Atlantic, right? First woman to fly across the Atlantic solo. So we needed to work on something that had to do with women. And also it's Women's History Month this month, so... Um, so here we go. I'm pretty sure that's it. 
So I really haven't worked on this too much. I only worked on it a little bit on again Saturday, and I don't I don't think I pictured it actually. I'll have to I'll have to take a picture of it this weekend. But I worked on the beige or on the the cream color that's running down the line, which is because that's her hair right there. So you can see, I don't know if you, if you can see. It's this top section right here. Because her eye is going to come in eventually over here. So I'm working on this, the outline, the bright outline. Um, and the plan is to go ahead and just keep, keep filling in everything else before. Because there's a lot of black, a lot of black here. And even because, you know, the way that she's turning, she has a lot of shaded area in her face. So, so even that's a lot of black. <laughs> So the plan is to do all the light colors first that's next to the black before the black. Black, 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 black. Um, okay, so the next piece is Oldie Barguri, of course. Hogwarts Castle at night. This is by The Stitching Girl, who is no longer listed. This is my oldest wig, which is why I want to finish it sooner rather than later. Ideally by July 31st, because July 31st is supposed to be Harry Potter's birthday. So last week I put in 1,964 stitches for the event that had to do with the Ford Mustang. It was the year that the Ford Mustang was first produced. So, and again, so for full coverage, the full coverage event, um, if you you can do one or the other, right? So you can just stitch the number of the year or you can stitch on something related. I, I'm i just trying to do uh, both if I can, but uh, if I can't, then oh well. So I don't have anything that has to do with transportation because that was the theme, was just method of transportation. But I did, so I just went ahead and used Hogwarts instead. And then this week I'm using it for another um, another event, which is in 1903, the airplane patent. Airplane patent was first, I don't know, made official by the Wright brothers. I forget what the exact wording is. But again, I don't have anything that has to do with airplanes or I think flying. I guess I could have used the the fairy, but I just wanted I just wanted to work on Hogwarts. That's that's really what's it. So I put in 400 stitches this week. I still need to do the additional 1,500. <laughs> so I'll try to get that done before the end of the weekend. Um, but yeah, this is this is one of the towers over here, and it's just a bunch of black. This right here, I can show. I'll just show you the picture again, so you get an idea. I'm working on this section right here. This this thing. So those stripes that you see are, are right here on the bottom. Um, so yeah, so here we go again, one last time. So hopefully next time you see this, you'll see a lot more, a lot more black, <laughs> but a lot more progress for sure. We'll put this to the, to the back. Uh, another piece that I want to show you this one that I haven't shown in a while. This is Fractal Energy from Tilton Crafts. Uh, Nathan Smith is the artist. And again, using this for one of the events, the Full Coverage Fanatic event. This one had to do with landscapes because in 1872, Yellowstone was the first national park or made official, I don't know. So I have to put in 1,872 stitches on this, of which I have 600 done. <laughs> I actually, I'm just working on this when I'm watching TV because as you can see, it's a lot of solid color. All of this is just one color and all of this is just black. So I just sit down with my boyfriend 
watch TV. I think they're working on this because I don't I don't really have to look at the pattern for this. So it's relatively easy. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to finish it by the end of the month. If we get to like the fourth week of March and I still haven't uh, finished it, then I'll go ahead and work on it a little bit more diligently. <laughs> but I'm happy to work on it just bit by bit. Okay, and the last one, last one that I wanted to show you is a piece that I'm working on regularly as part of an event on semi same stitchers, which is Alpha My Bet. We're, stitch, we're supposed to stitch on a piece that has an alphabet somewhere in there. So I picked the Flowers of the Alphabet by Lemonade on Etsy. And every couple of weeks we just move through a different letter. So we've already done first five weeks. And tomorrow, actually Friday, we'll move on to F, to the letter F, which is Fox Glove. That one, it's somewhere. Where's my bag? There it is, okay. All right, so this is what I have so far. And as you can see, it kind of fell behind a little bit. Um, because I don't, I guess I just, I just need to work on, see between this and we need a poo is what I normally use my, my tasks up with for enchanted stitching. So if it fits, great. If it not, if not, then I just use penalty stitching because with enchanted stitching, you don't have to count your stitches. You just do it by time. So here we are, as you can see, I still haven't finished the daisies. Um, the previous two weeks were D for daisies. So I finished this, yeah, I still need to do the, the green for the leaves and the stems. And I kind of finished the petals, but I definitely haven't stitched anything on the letter E. On the, I mean, I did do the letter E because it's the E square, but I haven't done the actual flower. So next week I'll start on F. I'll try to catch up eventually. Um, Again, just other other projects are taking a priority right now. We need a poo for my non-full coverage and Harry Potter, the Hogwarts castle, for my full coverage. Um, but that is it. <laughs> that is all I have to show you. I hope to be able to keep up with the history sprints. It's been, it feels really nice to be able to finish those because it's a lot of progress. And I know that last time I gave you the numbers for how much I needed to stitch on my projects. I've decided that because this is the full coverage events, full coverage fanatic events, I'll go ahead and just focus on my full coverage pieces. And I'll try to focus on my non-full coverage next month. So all the, all the projects that I wanted to at least try to finish this month, I'll go ahead and just focus on next month. Having said that, the 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 few, few the few full coverage pieces that I talked about last week, which were Hogwarts Midnight Stroll, Change of Seasons, and um, Tea Tea and Books, because that's my my whip go piece. Out of those four, I was only able to keep up with two, with Hogwarts and Midnight Stroll. With Hogwarts, I need to do at least 1,800 stitches a week. And with Midnight Stroll, it was only 850. So I, I'm good to go on. <laughs> um, but I do want to work on tea and books because it was my whip go call for, for March. So I'll try to fit that in on one of the, one of the history events. I think one of them has to do with books. One of them has to do with flowers and one, one has to do with books. So, so I think I'll go ahead and, and work on um, tea and books for that one. So I can at least touch it when I'm, I'm supposed to work on it for whip go. But other than that, I'll go ahead and see how many of the events I can tie my whips to so I can work on them. Otherwise, I'll just default to Harry Potter or Hogwarts Castle so that can get tons and tons of progress. <laughs> Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope that you, you enjoyed it. 
if you have any questions regarding anything you saw feel free to um, leave a message you can either leave a comment below or reach out to me via instagram i'll link all of these um all these whips below i always provide the links to the whips as long as they're still available if they're not then I, i'll try to say it <laughs> i think i forgot to mention the zana actually i don't i don't know if cinderella is still available but besides that one if it is available I'll go ahead and link it and yeah i'll also provide the link to the buy me a coffee um, link for this for this channel if you feel so inclined to support my channel that way obviously i won't force you to do it but it's very much appreciated and um yeah i'll see you guys in in two weeks so until then as always i hope you have a restful weekend a productive week and you always find the time to do the thing that makes you happy until next time bye